Xbox One X. And as you can see in the top left corner there, we are having a flickering black screen issue. Seems to be occasional, but there we go. So we need to take it apart. This video is brought to you by PCB Way. They have some holiday specials going on. I'll tell you about them in just a bit. We have the board out of the housing and we're prepared to do some testing here. I just want to check and make sure everything is good on the HDMI circuit because this HDMI port was changed by the shop. Let's check and make sure nothing short of the ground here. And we'll make sure we're getting feed through on the filter. Manufacturer gunk still on the array. Don't let it troll you. Let's see what we're getting. Ah, that's a pretty low reading. And we should be getting much higher than that. The redriver has definitely uh, failed and it is failing. Should be reading in the thousands of ohms here. We're going to change the redriver. While I'm setting up my equipment for the redriver, let me throw my expected temperatures for this job. These temperatures are brought to you by the Amazon associate links in the description. If you head to my video description and click on one of these links and buy any of this equipment, or if you buy anything during that session, a small portion of that purchase will go to supporting the channel. Won't cost you an extra dime, and I greatly appreciate it. Begin by warming up the area. Be patient when you're removing these chips. You want to see wetting all the way around the chip before you even touch the chip. It takes a long time for these chips to wet. Ready to pull. PCB Way is running a big Christmas sale. Just click on the banner and you'll see all sorts of coupons. PCB deals, up to 50% off 3D printing and CNC machining. Specials in the PCB Way store and more. Head over to PCBWay.com and check it out today. When replacing the chip, I'm looking for that center pad to wet. Need the center pad to wet so it can grab onto the chip. You do not want to let go of the chip until it has grabbed on. There we go. Nice and shiny. Let it grab on. Tuck down, wet, press down. Those copper marks on the side of the chip are for alignment purposes. And what you want to do is check and make sure they're aligned with the pads. Like that looks pretty good right there. Again, looks pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Excellent. My next step is to clean off the board and then we'll put it back in the housing and give it a test, see how we did. I hope this video is being helpful to you in your repair journey. Just a reminder, if this is something beyond what you want to try yourself, I do offer these services. Just head over to micromage.repair, click free quote, fill out the form, and I'll get back to you personally. All right, and as you can see, we're back up and running and we're not getting the uh, flickering or black screen that we were getting before. See, everything seems to be good. If you like this video, do me a favor and click that one right there, and I'll see you there.